Yep. Sometimes it doesn't reach the end of the track, but that's just a sense of not being And unfortunately, the electromagnet um, actually in the center gets really hot because we're giving it um, 20 volts in one hand, which is actually really a lot. And unfortunately, we don't have liquid nitrogen in the school, or we're not allowed to use it like the normal magnets do. So we have to wait for it to cool down every once in a while. And that's kind of annoying during the test, but we still managed to do um, tests involving voltage compared to velocity and mass compared to velocity. And they followed. Yeah, they followed. Um, like, it gets, you would like, assume really that hot. Is, really hot. And we also did press. This, this whole project was also press, which is a national um, science project. Yeah. And pretty much what press is, you just choose a, so, um, a subject or a question that interests you, and you investigate it, and it has to be scientific. And what you can do is, you actually, if you do a silver crystal award, you can actually complete a gold crystal award after like one more year of work towards it, and from the gold crystal award, you can actually earn money. What scholarships for future university courses involving science? Which that's really good. So that's also something that we might be investigating next year. Um, continuing the maglev, maybe making a circular maglev, um, and completing a gold crystal. I think that'd be quite good.